go, I shall go to see what the end is gonna be. Done made a vow to the Lord and I won't turn back. I will go, I shall go to see what the end is gonna be. My name is Sister Brenda Ebion, and I made a vow to the Lord a long time ago. I'm from Chicago, just in case you'd like to know where I'm from. And I was born actually in Belize, Central America, uh, formerly known as British Honduras. And I went to school with the sisters. I went to Loreto Academy, school uh, high school for girls this was my these formative years for me were the best years because i got to know myself better i got to know the sisters and they invited me one of them very special friend of mine invited me to become a sister she said you'd make a very good sister and i thought mm, i don't know about that but that invitation got me thinking and thinking when somebody gives you an invitation like that that they see something in you and they um, feel that you could live this life, I thought that that meant something to me. And so I went on for my studies and I thought about it, you know, graduated from university and did all the things. Um, but I had to go and see, I had to go and see what this, what this life was meant to be for me, what this calling was all about. Uh, those sisters in those days, they, they were special people. Uh, they lived love in real time, you know. It wasn't a, a pretense. They loved us students. They loved us with their lives, the way that they came to school hours beforehand, stayed hours later, they listened to us. They did everything to make us feel like we were the people that were gonna change the world. And for myself in particular, I just wanted to be a part of that energy. I wanted to be a part of an energy that made people the center, uh, that made the person that I was dealing with, that I served, uh, I want them, wanted them to feel the way Jesus made the people around him feel, like they mattered, like they counted, like it, it meant something to them that they were alive. And so for me, um, I get a lot of energy from music, I get a lot of energy from singing. I get a lot of energy from um, bringing life into worship, that it, it's more than just the obligation of going and sitting in a pew, but it was, about, it was about bringing something of God that was at the center of each of us, that is at the center of each of us, bringing that to life. And so my life as a religious was the unfailing of that potential within myself as well as the people around me. Um, working in um, university ministry for most of my life in Chicago, I was asked to move to Rome of all places. Rome of all places. Um, I didn't know uh, that that would be ever something in my, in, my, in my life that I would move to another country, but here I am. And I, I joined the leadership team in uh, 2014 uh, and um, it, it, it feels like a good fit. Um, it feels like I'm still finding my place in, in what that means, but now I'm um, um, a member of the Institute, uh, the Institute leadership team. And um, so we get, have the opportunity to go and listen to sisters all around the world, bring, bring that message of love. Um, at the center of the ministry that we all do um, to love God's people through education, through teaching, through medicine, through social work, through whatever we do, it's a message of love. So I think that's the reason I'm here. I think that's the reason I'm called. And um, I bring my musical self to whatever I do. Uh, so it goes right back to the vow that I want to see, right to the end. Done made a vow all over. Gonna do what 
the Spirit said do. We're gonna do what the Spirit said do. We're gonna do what the Spirit said do. What the Spirit said do, we're gonna do all over. Gonna do what the Spirit said do.